Hello everyone and welcome to Divinity Original Sin. It's kind of just come out on Steam, I got the sun shining in my eyes a bit, so I might look a little bit more kind of like pale and I guess angelic because I'm going to be like all bright and like way too, way too bright. So what have I got? Okay, so you get to like create two characters by the looks of it. I think you get like two characters and then you get like a third random person who just joins your party or something. Um, so let's have a look here. What are going to be? You've got like, oh, quite a few. Holy crap, that is quite a few classes. You, you know, usually I'm kind of used to like the modern RPGs being like, oh, you can be a warrior, a mage, or a something else, like a rogue or something. But here it's got like a fair few more, uh, which is kind of awesome. Enchanters prefer to turn the tide of battle from far manipulating foes with powerful magic. So, like, an enchanter would be like. Someone who mind controls people, I think. Not someone who's going to be like enchant your weapons, I don't think. Though maybe he does that too. Then you got like your normal fighter, which seems a bit boring. Knights are trained not only to fight but to rally troops. So it feels like having a knight might be like a cool idea. Uh, because maybe he can do some cool group support kind of stuff. Shadow blades. Or a witch. A guy being a witch. It's a little bit strange. A witch or a wizard. Okay. Amplifies brute strength with powerful magic. So, what I think I'm going to do is have him be a knight. And maybe she can be a wizard. And, uh, I actually kind of look, like the look of them, but I want to have a look at the customized options just to see. Can I change these? Oh, I can see what his starting skills are going to be. No AI, warrior voice, skin color. Underwear? That's just like a weird thing to change. Okay. Strange. Uh, what's this button do? Ah, okay. Right. Found out what that button does. Opportunist. Opportunist gives you the ability to perform attacks of opportunity. What a rush. What a rush increases your recovery and maximum action points by 2 and your health is below 30%. Okay, fair enough. So we can cure wounds and he's got a battering ram. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. So then let's let's have a look at what you can do. Midnight oil, create an oil service, and then it looks like you can set it on fire with flare. And you've got a magical poison dart. Can I can I customize that at all? You can't seem to change your Ah, you can you can modify these stats. Um You know what? I don't really know enough about the game to mess with that, so let's just not mess with that. And let's move on. Are you sure you want to be done with creation of all your characters? Yes, yes, I am. I am very, very the done. Days of old, the sorcerers of Rivalon cured the sick and healed the wounded through a great power called Source. But a terrible darkness invaded the land, and Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy, and madness has overtaken them. A few brave source hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever source appears, hunters follow. Okay, fair enough, so it's up to us to save the world. And shine, Master Source Hunters. The captain wants you up on deck. Hear them calls? Means we're close to shore. I don't ever you're going there, Master Source Hunters. City's full of undead, hungry enough for blood. But you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sicile. Nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain Sir. God's blessings on you, hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sicil. But there's trouble offshore, so we'll have to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those are orc ships, and they're blocking our passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off at the beach. Be wary now. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. If 
we're to get justice for the counselor, you'll have to keep your wits about you. May the luck of the gods be with you both, source hunters. Welcome to Divin Divin bah, bah, bah. Welcome to Divinity Original Sin. Click anywhere on the ground or hold the left mouse button continuously to begin exploring. Cool. Which one am I actually controlling like as my main character? Can I can I swap this around? Okay. Uh, yes, it doesn't really have any like real importance. I, I would kind of like for him to be the one that goes first though. So I'm gonna have him there we go. There we go. Let's have him go first. If I didn't know there were orc ships reason. heading to the west. I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers that'll strike with neither warning nor mercy. We've got a nice mini map on the top right. Is that a corpse? What's it doing here alone? Got some wooden what crates. Did have an entourage? Look about. Wait, how do I. Okay, you double click stuff to get into your inventory, and then I can press I and have a look at this. Oh, I got a whole bunch of money! Got a resurrection scroll, a backpack, and I can read this. Some armor is just too cumbersome to wear. Being get into shape on an anvil can help smooth out some of the kinks, though. Fair enough. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Oh, I like how fast it scrolls. It's quite nice. Easily, kind of, fairly easy to get used to. Anyway, let's keep going, my friends. My friendly friends. Up here. Kind of waiting for some enemies. I need, I need to kill. Ooh, hello, enemies. There we go. Source hunters, secure the stone. I'll deal with these rats. Goddess, be with you, master. Um, that's, that's okay. Fair enough. So, is it your turn or is it my turn or what's going on? What are we doing? What is happening? Arise. What are you doing? Arise, drawn forth from blood. I bid you aid me. What the heck? Okay, so now we get to fight him. Okay. Just... Come on, I wanted to kill those guys. They were obviously like the really bad guys. These are just their minions. But I guess they're probably like too high a level for me, so just as well they ran away rather than actually fight me and kill me now before I get the chance to power up because they are going to regret that later. Hold control and hover over targets to learn more about their attributes. That is pretty cool. Chance to be hit? No idea. Okay, so basically you hold control to realize that you have no clue as to what their attributes are. So he's the first lieutenant, he's got quite a lot of health, so using anything on him is probably not the best point. Okay, how many how many action points do I have? I have like Okay, so I should have enough to use Midnight Oil and then flare straight away. Which magical missile from your staff. No no no, I wanted to use the flare. Ah, son of a gun. Can't. Okay, so I guess that I am going to be using magical missile on that guy. Oh, that actually ignited it. Holy crap. Nice. So magic missile just ignited that. And those guys are, well, they're very dead. And this guy's like on half health. I, I love that you can like change the environment and, and make it really, really, uh, you know, do some awesome things. Uh, no, you are not going to end your combat turn. Or, or do I have to end your combat turn? And then, okay. Now you, I guess, are just going to battering ram his face and he's dead whoa holy cow he took a lot of damage from that escaping with a stone stolen from this dungeon I imagine can we get inside okay heal yourself cool I think that what happened was I like rushed into the fiery ground and just hurt myself by doing so which was probably not the best of ideas uh, what why why are you moving so slowly all of a sudden it's fairly odd. And can I not? Is there nothing for me to loot? I'm guessing no. Okay, hang on. If you like, click like right in front of him, he, he walks like at a snail's pace. But if you click away, then he runs. Access the optional tutorial area by entering the dungeon behind you. Is it this one? The ancient stone gate. Is that the dungeon? I'm guessing it's the dungeon. Let's just go through it, just, you know, in case that... Sometimes the tutorials can can teach you something that you can then kind of, like, combine with some other things. 
like a very very simple kind of like tidbit and then boom you can just do some amazing stuff and I, I really should have got a, a rogue I guess broken. oh a broken vase you see it might look like it's a bit broken but you see going by old RPG experience what you're supposed to do when you encounter any kind of pottery of any kind you smash the crap out of it that's what you do you just smash it you can move an object by dragging click and hold wait I can actually like what what did I just throw an arrow? I just moved an arrow around. So can I just do that? Can I... Whoa! I have telekinesis. Look at that. I'm like holding out my hand and being like, You shall move with my telekinetic powers. That is actually really cool. Why am I not looking inside them first? I'm such a noob. This guy is such a noob. Not looking inside of the barrels first and then immediately yeah. saying that and then... Whoa! Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. As a minor hedge, you can trigger mines by attacking them with a ranged weapon or by dropping something heavy on them. So, like, if I just telekinetically move this barrel, nice! Let's get away from the burning stuff. That is so cool! I love the ground effects. And she just walked through it, and she's apparently unscathed. She walked through fire and did not get burned. She's like the chick from Heroes. Hello there, bone pile. Nope, you're just you're just a collection of nothing, buddy. Nothing useful. How dare you die there, bone pile, and not have something sweet I've there? I've always heard there's typically more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth, or it could be a lucky day. All right. Oh, there's a there's like an unbroken vase. That's interesting. Sweet empty potion flask. Try dragging this over the right ingredients to brew potions. Nice. So we get to brew some potions. Always good to brew some pots. Gotta level up that alchemy skill. Always fun. Uh, so as we kind of continue walking through here, we've got a nice vase. Nothing in there. Can I right-click as well? Nope. You cannot right-click. I don't really like holding down the, the left-click to uh, move. Because it's it like locks your camera angle. See? And I like looking ahead of where I'm going to be going. Just, I just like doing that. So chest doesn't seem very advanced. Find a lockpick to open it. Okay, I don't really want to. And I'm a knight, so my lockpicking skills probably, you know, they're right up there in the list of really, really things I'm just terrible at. And there's like a whole bunch of like yellow dots just around, around this place. So is there nothing around here that I actually want to do? Oh, here's the king's tomb. Maybe I can lift this up. Maybe like a giant skeletal guy will pop out of nowhere. Old parchment. Okay, let's, let's have a look at you. Tend to the graves in the antechamber before moving into the inner rooms to proceed. Stand very close to the impressed door and press the button that appears on its right-hand side. Impressed door. Stand very close to the impressed door. Oh, a burning candle. And you can turn them on and off. This is very interesting. I like the interactive environment. So now I just have to find a door. If I were a door, you know, in all my doorliness, I would be... It looks kind of like a, that's an archway, so it's so, sort of doorway-like. So let's go over there while I search for some other kind of door. Um, right. Container icon by dragging it around. But maybe I need to move a container out of the way of a door. Is that what I need to do? I'm going to get lost in this game so damn much if that's one of the things that's going to be necessary. Oh, there's a door. That that is so a door. This must be a door. There's no way that's not a door. Spotted something interesting. Hello there. Assign points to your perception stats to reveal traps and secrets. Nice. That is pretty cool. You can look behind walls and pillars by holding the middle mouse button. Zoom in or out. I can look around. Oh, that's what you mean. I can just sort of turn it. So if I turn it here, I can then see the store and be like, "Hi, door." This doesn't look very sturdy. Try attacking it to get. Can I just can I just punch you in the face? How do I normally attack? Ah, can I just can I, can I just I want to hit you with this the sword? No, don't sheath it. Smack him in the face with it. Give that door a good smacking or battering ram it, I guess. Nope, don't do that. You wouldn't want to break that door that is very obviously in your way. Maybe she can, she can do it. Sorry man, you're useless. Let the woman take care of it, because damn well you can't. She's just going to do everything for you. 
You're we just like... Ooh, no, 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 don't, don't hit him with a magic missile. Would survive such use for long. True. Bashing through every entrance we find is bound to affect our gear's durability. Ah, but she, but come on, she hit him with a, with like a magical attack. How is that going to reduce gear durability? I feel that that should not be a thing. Unless like I actually hit it with the sword. Though that would make total sense if I'm hitting it with the sword. I mean, it would like blunt the sword and whatever. But I mean, come on. There's a water barrel. So if I hit the water barrel, it should release the water, and in so doing, quelch this fire. So, you know, hit the water barrel. That is awesome. Oh, come on! How weak are you? That's a fireball scroll. Okay, let's not hit it with a flare. Because we're trying to, like, put out the fire and not start a new one. Yeah, this could take a while. So far, my knight is relatively useless. Fires can be removed by water using a water spell or destroy a water barrel to clear the fire up. Coal baskets. Got some vases. Walk through that steamy area. I, I read something in the loading screen about how you can electrify the steam, so then you've got like a giant electric cloud that just kills everything. Which sounds pretty awesome, I mean, honestly. Is that like a liquid poison lake? What is that? Let's go over here. Try using fire on poison surfaces. And Whoa, no, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. You can't just give me tooltips when I'm dying. Well, I suppose you can because you just did, but, you know, come on, don't do that. Boom! Good thing I played through this tutorial section because, damn, I really did not know this stuff. It's good to know. It's good to know because otherwise I'm just going to be, like, stuck in the first dungeon that I end up encountering all of the stuff, which would be, I imagine, a fairly cool metal temple door key from the chest. If I was a metal temple door, where would I be? Um, I feel like I would be over there with the ornate chest, because ornate chest is bound to have something awesome. And I have no idea what this temple door is. Hold. Our enemies have laid a trap. Oh, hello there. So, wait, no, let's not put the vase... No, 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 head back, you silly fool! I wish I could just pause it. Can I pause it? I need to find a, a, a way to pause... Come on! I put a damn... Are you kidding me? Really? You told me that I could put stuff on the mines, and now I'm, I'm putting stuff on the mines, and you're not doing what you're... Come on, explode. I'm just going to have to self-detonate it, aren't I? So I guess having a, a rogue, you can just pump full of detection points or something. Is that mine just saying, you know what, I'm not going to do this whole thing? There we go. Please tell me there's something left of the chest. Yes, yes there is. Hello, chest. Oh, for goodness sake. After all of that, it's locked. Really? Really? Come on. Just, uh, not enough strength? Is it because she's a... she's a who's it? Oh, I don't have enough strength to lift the water barrel. You, sir, are not particularly useful. You, you bull rush that. There you go. Hit it. Smack it with that sword. That's a very large sword you have there. Holy crap. It's like, wow. It's like the size that you are. And does it have like a little kink? There's like a little kink that it has. I, I think it's like a sword breaker. I, I think like sword breakers have something like that where it, it, it's got like a little um, sort of like weird, I don't know what you'd call it. Basically the thing is like you're supposed to trap the other guy's sword with it and then you can twist it and like snap their sword. And it's like, haha, you have no sword left because I snapped it with my sword breaker. Sucks to be you. And it looks like there's a wooden crate that can be looted. Maybe you have a key. Do you have a key to the chest beyond wooden crate? I found a tomato. And a swordfish. I should equip the swordfish! Can I equip the swordfish? Please tell me I can equip the swordfish. No, it's food. Oh, that would have been so cool if I could equip the swordfish because reasons. Oh, a rain scroll. That's pretty cool found a magic scroll. With it, you can cast spells you haven't yet learned. Yay! Uh, right. Still looking for a key. Maybe it's in this, uh, this vase. Oh, hello! Knock down arrowhead, arrow ingredient. Cool. And a, a healing potion. That's pretty sweet. What's in here? Alright, so... Going back to the whole where would I be 
if I were a magical key to a magical chest. I feel like I... This is a tutorial section and I'm getting... Oh, nice! Fishing rod. And it's a two-handed weapon. I want to smack people in the face with my my giant fishing rod. Let's do that. What, what is its damage like? Is that... How do I swap between your inventories? Nope. One shared inventory. That's how. Well, I just, like, grabbed a fishing pole, so I feel like it should be there somewhere. Nice ingredients, consumables, magical equipment. You just picked up a fishing pole. How do you not have a fishing pole in your inventory? What are you doing with that fishing pole, lady? Leader inside. Oh, she's got, like, a buff because of him. Increases her damage and stuff. Yay for night. Sweet. I thought he'd have cool stuff like that, which is why I picked him. Though I generally don't go for things like that. Knights and stuff. Um, I really like magic users. I just think they're just awesome. They're really, really cool. How the hell am I gonna... Really? I, I've been searching for this damn key for ages, and it was in the vase right next to the chest. Why do I always make things, like, a thousand times harder than they ought to be? Every single time. And it's the middle mouse button for that control. Where the hell is this door? Is it like up here somewhere? Come on. Any doors? As soon as I have that temple key thing. So, I need to find a door to use it on. What good is a key without a lock? That it opens, because I mean if it had a lock that it didn't open it would still be relatively useless. I suppose you could stab someone with it, you know, shank them with a key. Uh, but I don't have a rogue, so I don't see that happening. It would be fairly amusing, though. But not as amusing as if I could equip that swordfish as a sword. That would be... I would love to do that. Like, if they could put in some DLC that would give me equipable fish that actually did, like, a crap ton of damage, I would love that. I would just think that that was the best thing in the world. Where the hell is this thing? Man, come on. There's like a whole bunch of crates down there. What's this button? Right. So I got myself a temple key, which is I think there. So the temple door should be... And come on, it's gotta be somewhere around here. Hmm. Again, if I were a temple door, where would I be? I would be doing temple door things. Oh, some crazy temple door stuff. Not there. Maybe it's. I have, I have a feeling like it would be on this side. Over here somewhere. So, where on earth is this temple door? Maybe I can read the, the temple door key. And maybe that'll help me. Nope, that's just the ornate key. So, what the hell happened to the temple door key? Jeez! Let's go back here. Let's see if maybe if it's if I left it in the chest or something, I don't know. It feels a bit strange that I picked up a temple door key, but now I have no keys. Except for that one key that opened the chest that I already have. What's this do? Closes it, okay. Oh, come on. Adventure is field guide, not crafting, backpack. Keys. Still got that ornate key. Magical equipment. Feels like a whole bunch of the stuff that I have is just not kind of showing up. Oh, yeah, the, the inventory system does not share, that's why. And there we have the fishing pole. Can I, like, give it to him? Maybe he can use the fishing pole. Is the fishing pole any good? And you have to close it and then reopen it to be able to see. Okay, the uh, fishing rod is kind of a bad weapon. <laughs> I mean, it's an amusing weapon and whatnot, but it's kind of terrible. Alright, let's have a look. We've got a metal temple door key. Okay, what is this? Can I not double click it? Get any. Get anything cool? Send it to him. Because he's the one that I'm using as my main party dude. He's where the party is at. Oh my goodness, the temple door is right here. I'm guessing this is a stone gate. So it doesn't exactly have temple door written all over it. But there we go. I think that's it. That was the one.
found it. Wasn't so bad. Managed to get it. And a red snapper. I'm collecting a lot of fish. And I see some poison, so you're going to have to carry this guy again. You know, I know that you are already doing all of the work here, lady. But if you could just do a little bit more, that would be very well appreciated. What is that? A strange sort of pit. There must be a way to disarm it. I have to place the barrel on top of it. Oh my goodness, hello. There's a chest there, so... Let's go and see if I can... I'm gonna die, aren't I? Come on, get back, get back. Oh no, there's another one, there's another one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. There's, there's got to be a, a way. She is so going to die. Wow, she's dead. That was... Is he still poisoned? Is he dying? Use your damn spell, you moron. Oh, I didn't tell you to use it on yourself. Ah, uh, well, that's embarrassing. Use it on her. What do you mean target is too far? It's, she's like right there. Target is not too far. There you go, you're alive again. I'm so sorry about that. I am just bad at this game. Could you forgive me? Could you find it in yourself to forgive? And he's still recharging that ability. Do you still have your inventory stuff? Yes, you do. Cool. Can, can I not get you to just like stay here? Can I not get you to do that? I don't want you to, like, follow him. No, don't follow him. He's doing dangerous stuff, lady. You don't want to follow him. Okay, there we go. That's all I had to do. I, I have the serious habit of making things harder than they need to be. And all of that for some fire arrows. That was worth my party member dying. Yes, those arrows that I can't use. The last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. Sneaking successful. Oh, he's hiding under a rock. Sometimes it pays off to scout ahead. Try igniting the oil the skeletons are standing on to damage them before you approach. Okay. So now, is she not following him? Okay, she's sneaking. They're both sneaking. and I mean, You guys look so suspicious. You actually look more suspicious than if you weren't sneaking. Which is kind of amusing. Those are buried mummies. These aren't skeletons, these are buried mummies. Boom! You're on fire! How's it feel to be on fire? Not great, I'd bet. Um, let's go and use that again, I guess. Ouch! Nice. Okay, you can end your turn, and I would really love to heal her. But instead, I'm going to just use Encourage. There we go. Encouraged. Everyone is feeling so encouraged. Smack him with a magic missile. Oh, and a magic missile to the face. You are very dead. By the way, still sorry about you uh, You dying there. Totally my bad. Cool. Now you're not quite so dead. Let's go over here. Hmm. Other bars. Dying on the tutorial level like that. That, there's no way that is not a pressure plate. Is that not a pressure plate? Let's just test it. Can we activate it by your own body weight or by using sufficient weight to make a click sound when they're activated? Can I not get you to... What's this... What is this button? Oh, that's like party formations. Okay. But what if I do not want you to be... to be following all the time? Can I not change that? Feels like I can't change that because I would I would quite like for you to stand there and him to stand there because it would just make sense you freaking morons. But no, it's fine. You can just put it there. Use the vases, I guess. Right, put it there. There you go. Click. I guess you both have to walk through, so standing there would 
achieve not very much. But I still wanted to do it. It feels I feel sad that I couldn't. That's it for this episode of Divinity Original Sin. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one if you enjoyed it. And for more Divinity Original Sin, click the thumbnail on the right. Or if you want something a bit different, try out Orcs Must Die 2 by clicking the thumbnail on the left. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in future videos. Cheerio for now.